movie is Eddie Macon's Run, a thriller about an escaped convict and the prison official who tracks him down. The convict is played by John Schneider from the Dukes of Hazard. The lawman is Kurt Douglas. Schneider's really a good guy in this movie. He was framed on a bunch of phony charges, and he only escaped from prison in order to be with his wife and son. It's really heartrending. But for Douglas, this is a personal vendetta because the last time Eddie Macon escaped, he gave Douglas a nasty star, a scar up on the <laughs> eyebrow. Here's a scene where Douglas surprises the escaping convict in a motel room. Game's over. You lose. Don't do it. Those cowboys will take you dead or alive. Nice to meet you, Miss Buck. My name's Marzak. She's not part of this. Is that so? I forced her to bring me here. Yeah. She looks like an innocent girl. Sit down. Sit down. I had it all figured out every inch of the way. I let those cowboys run around playing games. I waited for you to send me a postcard. I think you better just kill me right now. Because there is no way I'm going back with you. No? No. I've done too much time already for nothing. You're breaking my heart. You lose, Marzak. I beat you. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I made it out, and I'm staying out. So why don't you go ahead and pull that damn trigger and get it over with? You through? Go on, do it. Go on! <laughs> You wouldn't think a veteran like Kirk Douglas would fall for the old water pitcher over the head routine, but there are a lot of things in this movie that are hard to understand. Mm -hmm. That was Lee Purcell as the woman in that scene. She plays the niece of the Texas governor, and she agrees to help Eddie Macon escape for a brilliant reason, which she explains. She says it's a slow Wednesday. The movie tries to be more than a routine thriller, and it keeps interrupting the action with heartfelt and bittersweet flashbacks, mm -hmm. which only serve to bring things to a dead halt. Every time something begins to happen, right. something stops happening. A big chase scene through a cemetery doesn't mm. help much, and the ending is so predictable that I called it an hour into the film, and I was right. Well, of course you would be right. I mean, the whole thing wrong with this movie is, the, is these flashbacks, which keep building up what a good guy this criminal on the run is. Mm -hmm. Well, now, if they're, bring, if they're telling us constantly what a good guy is, He's, he loves his wife, he's got a child mm -hmm. that has a, a fatal illness, perhaps, mm -hmm. uh, then that can only lead to one conclusion, which anybody can figure out, mm -hmm. and if so you got a good we, guy, and if we you got a, say, right? we've already said it in effect, okay. and, and if you got a good guy like Kirk Douglas playing the role, then you know what's going to happen at the end of this picture. The movie's over. What I object to is what I call the obligatory scenes, and we just saw one. I call it the the scene where he makes the mistake of gloating. Now this scene is always in all the James Bond pictures. They right. have Bond cold, in this right. case he has Schneider cold. Right. He's got him. He's got a gun on him. He's won. I hate that too. What does he do? He sits down and explains. I know. I hate you that. made the following mistakes. I, I made the following brilliant conclusions. Therefore, you're wrong. And then he gives him time enough to escape. I know. You can. It just. You just know. This it's is coming. a made-for-TV movie, and I may be insulting made-for-TV movies by saying that it's mm -hmm. mediocre at best. Continue to point downward for Eddie Macon's run, starring Kurt Douglas chasing TV's John Schneider. 